Back at the book segment tonight, celebrities weighing in on the Zimmerman acquittal. Now, I know some of you don't care, but the truth is that famous people do have some influence among less informed Americans. I've decided today that until the stand your ground law is abolished in Florida, I will never perform there again. I'm going to send this one out as a letter back home. Justice. You defend yourself if something is coming at you. So now, when I look at my son, what do I say to him? Because apparently everything I will be teaching him gets thrown out the window because you could be killed for that. If George Zimmerman had the right to defend himself, when do, don't Trayvon Martin, who was just going home, had a right to defend yes. himself? Yes. I don't yes. see how to trial. Oh man, they did a slick thing. Boy, they turned this thing around. All right, here now to put those comments into perspective, if possible, Juliet Huddy. So Stevie uh, Wonder, um, he's got a problem because 30 states have a version of Stand Your Ground Law, so he's not going to be doing a lot of concerts, right? Well, no. I mean, I, you know, the thing is, I, I don't know if he's actually going to hold true to that. And these were, these were pretty tempered comments compared, compared to a lot of the comments that were made by celebrities out there. But the fact is... I mean, you say it over and over again. There were six people on a jury who heard the case. Yeah, but they're not going to buy that anyway. Um, Bruce Springsteen, he's over not here. Buy, I mean, they, the, the argument that a lot of these celebrities are making is that justice failed. And the yeah. fact is that, there again, six well, people who heard. It wasn't a case. The race was not on trial. The trial was about whether or not he was guilty of manslaughter. But if it's not the verdict slaughter. they wanted, then justice failed. So Springsteen's over in Europe, so he uh, sends a song back to uh, the Trayvon Martin family. And then Harvey, he does a talk show, right? Steve Harvey yeah. and Cherry Shepard, they're talk mm -hmm. show people. I'm with you. Now, mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't really mind them saying what they're saying. I don't mind them. They I have, have no a right to their opinion. Um, you know, I draw the line when they start attacking the fabric of the nation and that the fix was in and all of that. Well, I think... You know, we, Harvey... Harvey did kind of push it into that direction. I'd love to talk to Harvey about it, but he'd never come on. Go ahead. Well, people get frustrated, and I, I, I love the piece that you wrote a couple weeks ago in one of the papers, and you said something that I think really resonates, which is these people have every right. They have a platform. I mean, lucky them, they have a platform to be able to speak out yep. and encourage people, and, and but the fact is that when you invite them on your show, they don't, they don't show, show up. up. And, yep. the, and uh, you know, the thing is, are they actually researching? Do they have the facts? Do they really know what they're talking about? I can answer about? that question. Well, no. you can't. Well, you can't blanketly say that because there are a lot of people that sure, don't know what they're talking about. I can, I can about. say whatever I want. I'm just well, like them. I no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can say it. All right.